most of the money I earned was in the appreciation of Tyco stock. One year you made, I think, $170 million. I'm not sure 170 but I made over $100 million. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> more money than you, know, you 10 million here, exactly. 10 million there, who cares? Yeah. But uh, what's it like to earn that kind of money? It's a way of keeping score. Keeping score meant keeping up with the masters of the universe. $30 million to build a mansion in Boca Raton. Acquiring homes in Nantucket and Colorado. And just loose change, $16 million for Endeavor, a vintage yacht. He joined the board of the Whitney Museum. He had Tycho buy a $19 million apartment and decorated it with $11 million worth of stuff. Would Dennis Kozlowski, a few years ago, even contemplated going to Europe to buy old master paintings? No, absolutely not. You know, it came with earning the amount of money I was earning at the time. Was it your idea, or were you invited to join the board of the Whitney Museum? Oh, I, I, it was not my idea at all. I, I was invited to join the board, and I never made a board meeting. So you were invited because they like having really rich guys on the board. Uh, I assume it wasn't for my knowledge of art. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it was art that would lead to his undoing. The Manhattan yeah, District the, uh, Attorney's Office was investigating galleries that were helping customers avoid sales taxes. Kozlowski had purchased $13 million worth of paintings, including a Renoir and Monet, for the Tycho apartment. But prosecutors said he had some of them shipped to Tycho's offices in New Hampshire, a state without sales tax. They were then trucked back to New York. In 2002, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office indicted Kozlowski for evading over a million dollars in sales tax, and he resigned as CEO. But that was only the beginning. The Tyco board investigated its CEO's behavior and made public a report that was devastating. Kozlowski's excesses were revealed in excruciating detail. Decorations for the New York apartment became classic tabloid headlines, mocking the CEO's taste and his greed. The $15,000 doggy umbrella stand and the ultimate symbol of his downfall, that $6,000 shower curtain. As overblown as the coverage may have been, you signed off on those things. I signed off on a decorator to uh, decorate you know, the Tyco apartment. And beyond that, that was my involvement. I, the first time I heard about that shower curtain, the first time was uh, after I was out of the company and I read about it in a newspaper. And I, I was calling around asking, where's the shower curtain? But to this day, I wouldn't know 